three thrilling days later, the 2023 Qatar Economic Forum wraps up. Qatar says a Korean man who fell off a boat has been rescued. A top official outlines Qatar's investment goals in Egypt. And finally, could Brazilian football club Santos be heading for a Qatari takeover? Stick around to find out. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. This year's Qatar Economic Forum wrapped up earlier today after an exciting three days of discussions, talks and deals. Hundreds of businesses, finance and tech industry leaders from around the world attended the event to discuss the most pressing global concerns and trends. A number of agreements and deals were also signed, including a pledge by Qatar to give 20% of its IMF reserve asset to countries in need. Authorities in Qatar said a Korean man who fell off a commercial boat and was lost at sea has been rescued by a joint task force. Lekhuya and Emir naval forces mobilized for the 24-hour search and rescue operation to save his life. The ministry said the man was transferred to Hamad Hospital to receive all necessary medical treatment. Now, Qatar says it is committed to follow through on billions of dollars in investments pledged to Egypt. Qatar's finance minister added that his country will no longer be handing out direct deposits, but confirmed Doha is interested in a range of industries in Cairo. Over the coming years, Qatari money could be pumped into telecommunications, manufacturing, and tourism sectors in Egypt. And finally, Qatar Qatar Sports Investments, the owner of French club Paris Saint-Germain, is reportedly looking to acquire a stake in Brazilian club Santos. However, reports say talks between the sides are in their infancy stages, with QSI currently only exploring the possibility of such a move. The state-owned company is looking to increase its global influence and recently purchased a 21% share in Portuguese football club Braga in October of last year. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.